in theory, I should be live and you should be able to hear me, but I'm not putting any weight on that because reasons. So let me know if you can hear me. My mic is on. It says excellent condition. And so I have my co-pilot here, my big boy. If you don't know, this is Bowie Pants. And he's gonna go sit away from the poxy. Go lay down. And today I'm going to show you guys these complete color kits and do a piece with only what is in one of these kits. So cue the stripper music. Hopefully you guys can hear me. of Shelly, Carrie, Susan, Brittany. You guys having an awesome day? I hope so. So, okay, so uh, Color Passion has a whole bunch of these super cute, handy dandy little kits and I wanted to show you guys what was in them and then do a piece with one of them. They come with um, 30 gram jars and it has like all of the colors listed on the back of it. Cute little slidey case. This one is the Shimmer Cool Kit. It's got a lot of the cool paste in it. Got a Jackie, a Thornton, a Kimmy, a Debbie, and a Michelle. I'm not gonna go through all of these colors, but I'm just going to show you what's in them. And then I'm gonna do a piece. This is the something blue ocean kit. It's got white, dark blues, light blues, some tints, some beach sand. The wedding kit is from obviously our wedding. It has some of our wedding colors, including some mermaid glitter. Because I mean, it's not a kit that I would use unless there's mermaid stuff associated. This one is the Oceanic kit. It has beach sand, Rondaqua, it looks like Lorraine, Thornton, and a top cell. And then this one is really popular. It's the Prime kit. It's got red, blue, nope, that is definitely yellow. Yellow, red, blue, black, and white. If I had to be picky, I would ask for like a gold in it, but it, that's not what it's about. It's about um, primary colors. And then this is the nature kit. So it's got like a rose color, looks like olive, an orange, a white, and a beach sand or beige stone. Here, look right here, beige luster. That was close. Anyways, tangerine sheen. I actually like that color and I don't carry it typically. Anyways, this is just some of the kits that I carry from Color Passion. And the one that I'm going to use today is the turquoise ocean kit. It's got Thornton Shimmer, Rondaqua, turquoise gel tint, cream deluxe powder, and top cell white. I have all of these colors in the big sizes, so I'm not gonna bust open a little kit just to do one piece with you guys since I have them all open already. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I typically do oceans with translucents exclusively. I don't use paste typically, but today is a new day. I am going to try to redeem myself with the Speed Cure. If you've never tried a quick coat, then you don't know the amount of stress that is associated with doing a piece with a quick cure epoxy. This one is not available yet, but essentially it's 
a UV resistant resin that has about 20 minute working time from right now since I've mixed part A and part B into one cup. Last time I took Rhonda's advice and preheated it because it is on the thicker side of epoxies. Um, and so you can preheat it by putting it in a warm water bath. Look how slowly my mixer turns. Ugh. Sorry about that. It moves real slow because of how thick the epoxy is. So I can't even set it in the stand. It's just gonna not do me any favors. So what I typically do when my resin is really slow moving like this, it's really cold and gummy. Um, I'll take this whole setup that I'm working with right now. Sorry, my window's open. And I will submerge this in like a bowl of warm water and just mix it in the bowl, making sure that no water comes above this lip of the cup because then you have to throw it all away because resin and water do not mix. They hate each other. They just don't work together. So um, you can do that. Just make sure that if you do the hot water bath, if you do preheat your resin, that you understand that you're gonna dip into some of your working time. Look, this is how fast it moves out of the resin. Now when I put it in, just slow poking it. Anyways, um, so yeah, if you're going to preheat your resin, be very careful with it. I'm just gonna hand mix it. It's too thick for this. Um, just be careful because with a quick curing epoxy, it's already easy to kind of forget what you're doing and run out of time and your resin just sets off. And by sets off, I mean starts to cure. I'm just letting some of the resin kind of splash onto the side of the cup before I take this mixer out, waste not, want not. All right, we're just gonna hand mix, hand mixing. First world problem. So anyways, um, does anyone have any questions while I am doing this labor of love? That should be a shirt. Mixing resin equals a labor of love. Make it so. So, um, recovering foodie, you be careful up there if you're having some bad weather how thick and you know having a thicker resin is not a bad thing it just means that you're gonna have to adjust your measurements on how much resin you're gonna need for certain square footage unless you thin out your epoxy and your colors may appear less or more opaque or translucent in thicker or thinner resins which is why I don't have like a spreadsheet or anything that lists how much resin um, one jar of our colors can color because it varies over different brands. Don't pull a wrist muscle. I'm trying. You still hand mix? I love the stand mixer, but it is a little bit weaker than the last one that we had that um, just had batteries in it. This one you plug in to recharge. And so it's a little bit weaker. However, I do notice that it doesn't really mix in that many bubbles. So I'm still very happy with my iStoyo stand mixer, which I have linked down in the description box. If you click on my Amazon shop and whatever you purchase while there, I get a little bit of a referral credit. So it really helps my channel if you shop from Amazon anyways then use our link to get there because then they bump, bump us a little referral fee. You have the mixer and you still hand mix it? Well, I mean, 
to each their own. No matter how you mix your resin though, make sure you scrape the sides of your cup and the bottom of your cup and make sure you scrape everything off your stir stick because if you don't and you go in and scrape your cup to get all of the resin out onto your surface or wherever it is, um, you're gonna end up with weak spots from not scraping the sides and incorporating it into your mix. What's up, Wind and Wind Designs? I really appreciate all of you guys coming in and seeing what I'm up to today. If you're new here, hi, hello, what's up? Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, please subscribe and leave me your thumbs. It really helps YouTube to know that um, you guys are real and there's real people watching my channel. It's not a figment. And um, if you see people in social media groups asking questions about resin stuff, it would be rad if you guys linked my shop or my channel because I'm always happy to help. So, first color I'm going to mix up is Thornton Shimmer. This is a beautiful, deep turquoise color. It's one of my favorites. Yes, it was named after my husband. It's like a turquoisey, deep blue color. Can you say Thornton? That's this one, yeah. It's just gorgeous. So, such a rich color. Very depthy. Yes, I said depthy. No, I'm not sorry. Um, it's just a word that I use sometimes. Um, the next one that we're going to mix up is the Cream Deluxe. Uh, this is a powder. I don't usually use powders. Y'all, every time I have a powder in my hand, which is rare, Tudor sends me a text and I always check. Y'all saw what happened last time. He sent me a text and I checked my watch. It's still sparkly, by the way. So this is Cream Deluxe. It is a gold interference, creamy white color. If we can focus, that would be super. There we go. So it's a little bit white, a little bit beige, and the interference in it is gold. Y'all know, uh, oceans and gold always work because blue and yellow are opposite-ish on the color wheel. And so, they always look good together. Meow, the next color I'm gonna use is the turquoise gel tint. She is finding, I don't know why it was so difficult, a new jar for the this, the gel, so you don't have to do this pump action. Anyone? Anyone? Euler? Really? All right. I'm just gonna have to use the turquoise gel that's in the kit. But I don't wanna get anything sticky on it, so changing gloves. I would try longer to get that out, but I am on a time crunch with um, this resin. So it doesn't take much of the gel tints to work. I'm gonna call that enough. Pull that aside. Open. Okay. Well, I can't do another comedy of errors day like the last one. So everybody, just hold your breath. That I don't have another live like the last one because. That was a whole nother animal. 
All right, this is the turquoise gel tint, if you've never seen it in resin. It is a beautiful aqua color. And I'm just gonna get a little bit more. Usually I'm using my top cell paste and I'm using tints like this one. And usually I'm not using a bunch of base cells in one pour, so I'm not even sure exactly what's going to happen. But I'm excited to find out with you guys um, if I get the same kind of cells that I usually get, if they're more um, on the larger side, like every other time I use a base cell under a top cell. Because typically, if you use all the paste from one brand, like Color Fashion, you don't get as many nice, um, the cells are just different. It just reacts differently. This is Round Aqua. It's a beautiful, a little bit more on the greeny side than Tiffany, like a Tiffany blue color, but just by a hair. All right, and the last color we're gonna put in here is Top Cell White from Color Fashion. I'm not mixing up quite as much of this as the other ones because I don't need as much white as I do the other colors. You haven't tried the gels yet? You're very accident prone? I know, didn't you? In the class that you were at, Carrie, did, was it you that almost caught her alcohol rag on fire? Was it somebody else? I know that happened at your class. And this um, Color Passion Top Cell White is an opaque, not shimmery white. It's very creamy, very nice. Okay, so now I have all of our colors mixed up. I have all of the resin mixed up. We're gonna get going. All right, so I, I don't usually do um, oceans that have the sand that I'm painting in. It's usually um, it's usually um, the case that, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I usually don't do sand. I usually hand paint the sand and then do the ocean bit, but uh, that is not gonna be the case today because I wanna use everything that's in the kit. So right now, I'm just adding little lines of the other blues that are in this color kit that was Ronde Aqua. This is the gel tint, the first one. The gel tint is gonna be see-through. It's gonna be translucent. And that just means that I'll be able to see all these other really nice colors through that one. This is the Thornton Shimmer. It's gonna act as my deep ocean colors. And Oh, I think I'm gonna add some, just some of this cream deluxe. Just a few little, I don't know why I'm doing this. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the everything, but we'll see. I'm gonna add the sand after we do the wave so I can still stretch my wave like I usually do. And just like I usually do, I'm going to try to separate my ocean from everything else with a line of clear. Okay, so I'm going to just blend this in. I'm not trying to mix the colors together. I'm just trying to not have any bare areas. And since these are opaque, I'm kind of using that to my advantage and um, these kind of striation lines from my fingers, I'm 
instead of how I usually go and just it's very haphazard and random I'm being more deliberate with this because it's gonna matter more because they're opaque all right I'm gonna add just a little bit more of Thornton shimmer in some areas and some more of this translucent color over the top of a lot of what I have because using translucents and opaque colors at the same time you get a whole bunch more depth and when you're thinking about an ocean you really have to consider that there's depth in water. You can see down into the ocean. I like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put my line up top cell white. I'm not doing a thick line because I don't want it to cover up everything that we have down already. And I'm just pushing it right up to the clear that I have down. All right, next I'm gonna stretch my wave that way. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna put a little bit more Rondaqua up here because it's kind of one note all the way down. I'm gonna do a true color video of this as well. I don't think, I was worried too much about how my um, how the sound was and I wasn't paying that much attention to the color that's a little bit off alright I'm just going to fix it real quick Um, does anyone have any questions while I do this? All right, you can see a lot better now. A little too much. All right, it's a little bit darker than what it is in real life, but at least it's not blown out anymore. All right. Okay. I'm gonna use my platypus attachment. Looks like this because obvious reasons. I am not gonna swipe. I'm gonna use the platypus attachment and push the wave. And then if it doesn't look right, then I'll swipe it. <laughs> so I'm just preheating everything because the resin is so much colder and thicker, not colder, thicker. All right, just like I usually do, I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit wait till I catch a wave of resin. When it starts moving, I'm just moving on a little bit. And I'm just letting it all stretch down. And I was going to kind of blow it out a little bit, but now this is all almost like a geode. So maybe I'll just stretch it this way. And then we'll pull it back in another direction. I like to stretch my cells off of the piece because then they'll hold and kind of move in the next direction I choose to tilt it, which in this case is exactly opposite. I'm coming all the way down to this corner over here. And I was gonna go ahead and stretch it all the way, but it's starting to haze some of these other cells. 
so I'm not going to stretch it all the way down. And it's kind of lost some of that dark color. So maybe I'll just kind of continue that geodesk. work. All of this may tilt off as it self levels anyways, but I feel like it needs something. It needs something here. So maybe I will kind of. Hi Donna, how are you today? I'm just going to push this out just a little bit. So the cells look good. Everything looks good except for these sides. So the piece is still really warm from uh, manipulating it this much. So I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it cool down for just a second before we do what I want to do to these edges. So it doesn't look like my ocean has just ears right here. Zoella, it's my pleasure. Always happy to help. Thank you, Bonnie. What's up, JJ? The gold sheen actually looks really nice. You can see it kind of right here and under the wave, which was kind of why I put it, if you paid attention, I did the white line and then there was a clear. And then just behind that, I had the cream deluxe because I knew it would end up stretching through the piece and give that kind of underglow. Is underglow a word? Can we make, can we make that a word? All right, so now I'm going to attempt to do a wave over here without messing up the wave that I already have. Probably it's gonna mess up, but we'll find out together. Here's my We'll do a torch and tilt for this bit. Also, maybe not if I can't get if I can't get any fire. That's not gonna help. It's like everything in my shop knows when I'm on a time crunch. Luckily, I have about a thousand little torches. Okay. So I'm just going to dab along. Thin out only the areas that I want this little side wave to go. Be really careful if you do this torch and tilt because you can scorch your resin really easily using an open flame like that. So just be advised. So that looks a little bit better. I'll try to blend these in as soon as it cools off. So now I need to do the same on this side. So I'm trying to let this white roll over the side so that it'll grab in those areas so that when I tilt it, it'll stretch. So I'm just hitting it with a little bit of heat. Once it starts moving, I come back off of it a little bit. Let 
it roll this way then it'll grab on the edge and I can stretch it down this way this I have affectionately named the torch and tilt but just like I said be very careful you don't scorch your resin it's very easy to do when you use this technique I think also a lot of people kind of shoot themselves in the foot a little bit, so to speak, by not letting the resin just resin before freaking out and trying to fix it. Sometimes resin takes a little bit, a little bit of extra relaxation. Okay. Now I'm going to edge up my white shoreline because we have tilted so much backwards that will end up melting into what we already have. There's a little bit of a lip right now, but it won't stay that way. It will match what's going on with the temperature of the first bit that we put down. And now as the very last thing, I'm gonna finish the sand. I didn't do it first because I wanted my white to grab and stretch. I wouldn't have been able to get this, these elongated cells if I would have just put wet resin on top of wet resin just because resin likes to go where it's already been and so it'll slide over itself so to speak, and it won't stretch. So that's why I will most often do my oceans uh, without doing sand in resin, or I'll do it in a different layer. But since I wanted to get a full kit review in, I am actually putting sand down. Well, actually putting sand is in this color of resin. So since this is a powder or a shimmer, you can, let me preface this by saying you have to wait till it's kind of been curing for a little while, uh, which is not a long time with this kind of epoxy. But if you wait till your resin is kind of gummy enough to stretch a good long piece of that's a long stretch of epoxy. Once you can get a good, I say maybe an inch, inch and a half, then you can actually do designs in your shimmery resin or your mica zeta shimmery. So for this one, I'm just going to put some lines like this, like as if the ocean has swept in and out so that there's little ripples in the sand and those will stay if they don't you can come back in 15 minutes and redo that process so that you have some little bit of ripples in your little sand area but anyways i'm going to do a true color video i'll post it on the channel over under the shorts you can see what this bad boy looks like IRL. I'm just gonna take the video right now because if I don't, I'll forget. Let's turn on some light. Okay. This is how the video turned out from today's live. It looks a little bit different than when we did the piece. Oh my goodness. I can't wait till you guys see this. IRL that gold under the white is just ridiculous look at those cells can you just can you just I love it I love them I love each and every one of these cells and surprisingly I love having the sand done in resin 
This kit is called the Turquoise Ocean Kit, available at artiststilldeath.com. Get yours while I have them in stock. Okay. So, I love watching, especially when things don't go as expected. That's when I learn the most. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. That, that means a lot to me because last live I did, I don't know how I got so flustered. There was just so many things wrong back to back that I was like, the world's against me. The world's against me today. That's fine. Um, Sherry, the type of resin I am using is the new Speed Cure from Stone Coat. It is not available yet, but it will be very soon. The viscosity of this is very akin to Marcy's resin, um, Mixed Media Girl. Tell her I sent you. If you go get some of her epoxy, it's very nice. It is ultra UV resistant, <laughs> resistant as well. And so if you're looking for an epoxy to try, that's a lot more forgiving than uh, the Speed Cure. Also, it's not available yet. Um, give that one a try if you want to kind of like prep yourself for how thick it is and basically everything except for the working time is very much similar to Marcy's resin. New just in. Oh yeah, these um, kits are brand new. I'm just doing a review of the kit and I'm very excited about it and I think I'm going to be using this cream deluxe and a lot more of my oceans. Maybe not as the sand, also maybe as the sand, but definitely as an under shimmer. Let me see if I can. Where's my flyover? Okay, wait, okay. Maybe you can see it in this one. Hmm. Not as much as I'd hoped. But just check out my true color video that I'm going to post in just a moment to see what it looks like IRL. Oh, you have Stone Coat and Mixed Media Girl. Fantastic. So you could do this just like, it would look just like this with Color Passion. Nope. Mixed Media Girl is epoxy. I'd really love to see an ocean with the water deep purple and teal with blue transition between the two. I'm wanting to know what it looks like. That's what I have in my mind for my bathroom floor. An ocean with the water deep purple and teal with blue tr transition between. Bonnie, would the sand be one of those colors or would the sand be a sand color? I'm so excited about this piece and how it turned out. I wonder if you guys can even see. What this looks like. This is what the true color video is going to show. It's still a bit blown out on this camera, but. You can see a lot more into these like outlined cells. Beautiful cells, beautiful cells, beautiful, beautiful cells. Sand just sand color. Okay, I could do a dark. I could do a dark purple, teal, and blue ocean. No problem. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow during the two o'clock live. I have this kit linked down in the description box below this video if you want to give it a shot. If you're interested in some stone coat epoxy, use my code YALL, Y A L L, all caps, no punctuation, for a really rad discount. And I think underglow is a great word, right? And the link is above. Thank you, TG. So, anyways, you guys, um, I am sticky now somehow. But if you don't have any questions, I gotta go do inventory because I have new products coming in with new colors. And I really appreciate it when you guys purchase from my super small business. Every purchase makes a huge difference. 
because we're a small business, you know? You know? All right. So, um, if you guys don't have any cool questions, then I will be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central. I'm going to go ahead and post this video and the true color video, so make sure you check out the shorts. Oh, for a second, I thought you guys couldn't hear me. But anyways, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember that we do the test so you don't have to. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Do the outro.